Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, this is Doreen and Alice, and we're here to show you about hugging a tree <laughs> or hugging a ball or whatever you'd like to call it. So most of us know what hugging a tree is, and I have Alice facing backwards to the camera right now so that we can see what's going on in her shoulder blade area, right? So Alice, if you would bring your arms out to the side, that would be lovely. So you're looking at what's going on with her scapula, and you've all probably heard about the rhomboids, which go from the spine out to the scapula. And if you squeeze the rhomboids together, the shoulder blades come together. And that's fine if that's what you're looking to do is to mobilize the rhomboids. Go ahead and bring those guys back apart. And we do that also when we do rhomboid push-ups and pre-Pilates work. So what we're trying to do is get the arm bone to move independently of the shoulder blades. So I'm gonna have Alice do this without straps. As her arms are coming back, she's got the straps on pretending to have the straps on. Lots of times you'll see that people draw their arms back by their shoulder blades instead of by their arms. And then when they go forward, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and let your shoulder blades float upward. And then when they go into the forward position, the shoulder blades go into an elevation and a protraction at the same time. And they'll finish the series and tell you that they have pain in their neck or pain down in their lower back. So, right? <laughs> And so I'm gonna ask Alice to bring her arms down for a second so she's not going crazy with her upper tops holding her arms up this whole time. So we're gonna work on having the shoulder blades stay in place and really concentrate on moving the arm bone independently of the shoulder blade, just like we tried to get the leg bone to move independently of the pelvis. So go ahead and open the arms again, beautiful. And as she's doing that, I'm gonna ask her to use her shoulder stabilizers to keep her shoulders from squeezing towards each other, right? So she might be like, well, my arms can't go as far back. Yes, that's true, but now you're not masking your limitations. Then as she squeezes forward, we're looking that these do not elevate, and as she comes forward, maybe she feels that her pecs are actually getting some work. And then as she opens up again, she feels that the shoulder stabilizers are working to keep those shoulders in place. Now, I'm not saying it's not a good idea every once in a while to mobilize those rhomboids. The idea is that you want to know the difference between the two. And then I'm gonna have Alice turn to face the foot bar, and we'll do some hug a tree with straps so that we can also see what goes on with the rib cage. Okay? And I'm going to ask her to do a couple where her rib cage actually just moves back and forth with her arms going back. So you might see this happen sometimes. The shoulder blades are squeezing together. You have to trust me on that one. The ribs thrust forward. And then the reverse happens as she goes back into that other position, right? One more of those beautifully incorrect ones. <laughs> Right? I can always go farther, faster, stronger. Right? So now she's going to worry about her rib cage staying neutral. So the lower ribs aren't thrusting forward. And as her arms move back, her shoulder blades stay on her back and she's working everything, all the muscles that are used in shoulder and scapula stabilization. So this should feel a little bit different. Right? And as she opens up, she might actually get a real stretch through the pecs, but not at the expense of what's going on in the rest of the spine. Right? That's about enough. We'll get her to do one more. Beautiful, shoulders aren't moving, and then as she squeezes together, chest works. This is all staying in alignment, and she looks great. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time, and never stop learning.